Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor presented by Profotic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Coding Writer Framework Beginner Tutorial and this is our part number 25. Inside this video session guys, we are going to create multiple tables using migration using single file. And also guys, if you are a beginner to the channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about Coding Writer Framework Tutorial. In our previous video session guys means part number 24 we had discussed about the basic concept of migration as well as we had seen that how can we use migration and create the database table. So if I back to code editor now inside this editor this is the file that we have configured something called migration.php inside this file we have done several settings to do the work with our migration file and also we had created a migration folder inside application folder structure right here inside this migration folder we have created our migration file something called timestamp underscore add underscore users.php and finally we had done code for to create a table and finally we had made a controller to migrate our file now inside this video, we are going to use the migration file to create several tables. So if I back to our table structure, inside our database, these are the two tables that we have created. By default, the code writer migration created migrations table, but we have created only a single table, something called users. Now if I click on that, if you go to the structure section, this is the structure that we have developed. Now inside this video, we are going to create two tables from a single migration file. If I back to slide, go to next tab, these are the two tables the structure, we are going to follow that. It means that we have two tables, something called the students and faculties. A students table basically contain four columns, something called ID, name, email and the address. Relating with these columns, these are the attributes that we need to make it. And also with the faculties, we have the same column like ID, name, designation and the mobile. And these are the attributes related with that. So if you go to the code editor, now inside this migration file, either we, we can use this migration file or create a new timestamp and by the help of those timestamp actually, we will create our migration file. In our previous video session, we had discussed about there are two types of migration types in our migration chapter, something called timestamp and the sequential. So both the two ways we will use inside this video to create two tables from a single file. So let's say that if you go to routes.php and if I uncomment this line to get the real timestamp of currently, so go to our browser, reload this page and now this is the timestamp. So if I copy that go to editor and let's say that I'm going to rename this file. So let's say that rename and I need to change the timestamp. So let's change that and we are going to create two tables. So I'm going to rename this file. So let's say db underscore tables. This is the file that we have made and also we have to change the migration file class name. So something db underscore tables. After changing the timestamp just go to migration.php file we need to change our migration version so this is the version so I need to replace with that save this file back to our DB tables and now let's say that this is the single table architecture that we have developed so far inside our previous video and this is the structure for the users table so inside this video we need to create about a students table and the faculties table so first of all go to browser go to database now I'm going to delete all these two, two tables. So let's select all. So check all. With selected, let's drop first. Yes. Now we have dropped all the tables from this database. So back to code editor. Let's say that we are going to create firstly called students table. And now students table contain some of the columns that we have mentioned, something called ID, name, email and address. So first column should be id type equal to int constant equal to 5 it means that the integer value should be of length of 5 characters means 5 digit it should be unsigned and auto increment and basically this id should be primary key that's why we have added something called dbforge add key and this is for the primary key about the first column we have done that next we have to make the name email address so this is name all we have done 
So this is varchar 100 of length. Next we have called email and this is of 50 characters. Next we have something called address. This should be type text and it should allow another null value. So just remove the last value. So basically this was the first table structure that we have created. So if I copy this code, so if I copy this code and this is for the table equal to let's say students this is for the students table again I'm going to copy and pasting it here this is for the faculties so back to slide copy the name back to editor and pasting it here but this time this should be small f inside this faculties table the columns we want and here something equal to table and table equal to this time it should be faculties okay now inside our slides the column that we want something called id name designation and the mobile number so this is id name next column we want something called designation so this should be designation and designation is about something the var carrier type and 120 characters so this should be 120 characters next we have something called mobile so let's say mobile it should be type equal to varchar so we have to mention something called varchar it should be of length something called 20 so basically we need to specify the key something called constant so if I copy pasting it here and it should contain the 20 characters just wrap this value within single quotes and finally it should contain the null value what we have written here so null equal to true all we have done with our faculties table so inside single file guys we have done the code of two tables something called students and faculties also inside this down method if I copy pasting it here the first table that we need to drop something called students and the second table something we have called faculties right now in our previous video session means part number 24 and in part number 25 we are not using this down method but in our upcoming videos we will use about this method in deep so if I save this file go to migrate and we have done here also so back to our browser let's say that index.php and finally we need to write the controller name something called migrate so when I press enter here as we can see that the migration is going on just back to database structure click on the refresh icon and it is logged out so and as we can see that guys here we have three tables now one for the migration and these are the two tables that we have created as we know that one table is automatically created by the migration of code igniter that is migrations and these are the two tables something called faculties and the students we have created by using our migration file and something this is the file so if I back to browser again click on the faculties click on the structure this is the structure that we have developed for our faculties table again go to the database click on the students click on the structure and this is the structure we have developed for our students table now this is the concept guys we have used about using the migration type something called timestamp it means that if I back to editor go to migration.php and inside this file as we can see that inside migration version we have actually passed about the timestamp and also we have used migration type equal to timestamp now we are going to use called the sequential so how can we use sequential and by using the sequential migration type how can we create tables so if I copy this type so just copy that and replace with this timestamp now after pasting sequential we need to change about migration version so let's say that this is migration version let's say one back to our folder structure sorry editor now inside this editor inside this migrations folder we have to create our file and the filing name convention should be something we have to follow as we have in the sequential format and in this sequential type as we can see that 001 underscore add underscore block dot php this is related with our migration version so inside migrations folder let's create a file and something let's say 001 underscore let's say db underscore 
tables.php. If I press enter, this is the file that we have developed. Again, if I back to timestamp file, copy all the codes, pasting inside this file. So if I save this file, back to our browser and now again go to database, I'm going to delete all these three tables that we have created, click on drop, yes. So successfully we have deleted all the tables. So if I pressing enter inside our project setup, what actually will happen? It will find about the migration type. Migration type we have declared as sequential. By writing sequential, it will go about the migration version. So here we have declared one. It means that it will find about the file called 001 underscore about file name and it will run automatically by using our current version. So go to browser, reload this page. Again go to database structure, clicking on the structure and as we can see that the output will remain same. So successfully guys we have seen about how can we use migration type of called timestamp and sequential to create a single file. By using that single file we have created multiple tables called strengths and faculties. You can create more than two tables only by using a single file. So if you back to editor, go to migration.php. Now if we go up, as we have inside migration type, so inside migration type if we declare timestamp, we need to declare the file name if you go to slides and let's say that open a new tab. This is our timestamp and we need to add our file name here. So this should be something called file name dot php. But suppose if we declare about the sequential, so in that condition we need to declare something called 001 or something called 002 and the file name here. So this is all about the sequential file name. So this should be file name .php. So this is all about the video session guys of creating multiple tables using a single file either by using current timestamp or by using a sequential format. In our next video we will see that how can we create tables using several multiple files. It means that if you go back to editor, it means that here we have declared two tables, something called faculties and for the students. So we will create two different files for that, something called students.php and faculties.php. So how can we use multiple files to create multiple tables instead of single file? So this we will discuss in our next video. So inside this video guys, if you have any doubt, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day.